welcome to Le Fonti TV. In today's episode, we will address a crucial aspect in the current global financial landscape, namely the evolution and development of sustainable investments. To do so, we invited Michael Graham Madsen, CEO of Forward You Invest. Mr. Graham Manson, you hold the position of a CEO in Forward You Invest. What is it and what relationship it uses to have with the insurance company Forward You? Thank you. So, FW Invest, we are a licensed investment management company out of Luxembourg. And we work as the whole asset management arm of FW Group. And what that means is that all the money of all the life insurance clients throughout the world that are within FW life insurance companies, we manage. Mr. Graham Manson, you are also responsible for asset management. For this reason, we would like to ask you to tell us what you have observed on the evolution of the ESG from that peculiar perspective. Well, the in really interesting thing about ESG here is that it's actually been around for a very long time. But despite that, we haven't had any common standards. And that's led the market to be very fragmented. It's made it very difficult for some investors to understand why one company looked really great on one standard and on another standard, the same company looked very bad. And this also gave way to greenwashing, which is saying that you're great at ESG, but you're not really doing anything. And no one could probably verify that. So this has changed significantly this year since the EU launched their taxonomy standards. Now we have one common standard that all European investment funds and insurance companies need to report on. And since we now have this standard, that means that anyone who's regulated under the Life Insurance Distribution Directive or MIFID can and they must ask all their clients about these ESG preferences. Uh, this in turn, gives rise to a shift towards ESG compliant funds that adhere to these standards. Yeah, a very clear overview to which I immediately engage for asking you to depend the forward you invest policy in the integration of ESG criteria. What have been the most interesting aspects of your experience so far? Yeah, well, we are quantitative investors. So for us, it's all about data. It's the most important thing. So. First, we went out and we looked for data. And that was actually very difficult because there are only a few data vendors who can deliver quality data. Now, ultimately, we ended up teaming with MSCI and Arabesque. Then came the task of finding out how do you implement this data? And how do you handle investments in a way so that on the one hand, you have a great investment portfolio with real diversification but on the other hand, it also has to be really green. Now, I think we struck a really good balance on this, and we've bound ourselves to a minimum of 30% of all the revenue in the portfolio has to be taxonomy eligible. And that is actually quite high compared to other funds. Such a strong presence of ESG funds denotes a deep confidence in sustainable investments and their return potential. What are today the pros and the cons for those who choose them? Yeah, so the question of will ESG funds do better or worse than non-ESG funds is actually a very difficult answer to give you. But there are some, certainly some pros that, that are very strong. So fund managers will now need to create products like our own and in doing so, this will push money into those same securities that have high ESG scores, and that'll drive up the share prices. And this could be a very large driving force for this. But we should also be mindful that we are working from a much smaller universe of green companies. So there will be times when this, what you call it style, green, falls out of favor. And that can potentially lead to quite more volatile returns. So there are some pros, but there are also some cons in this. Yeah, very clear. Thank you, Mr. Graham Manson, for staying with us today and see you soon. Thank you very much for having me.